I guess I was right. I guess I was right. Do you guys remember about what? Was it three weeks ago? Or is it two? No, about two weeks ago. About two weeks ago, I did a stream where I posted a clip. Actually, I think I've got a clip here. It says, did Brendan Shaw break his neck? Right, it's this clip here, as you can see. Let me see if I can see it. I can show you it. It's this clip here from two weeks ago where I spoke about the Brendan Shaw car accident thing. And I remember saying that I was sent a very exclusive special post Can you from somebody. Oh, hold on, from somebody who basically said, hey, I have evidence that Brendan did flip his truck. And at the time, I was a bit hesitant to put it out there. I didn't want to be the guy that's like breaking news or revealing things. But people send me stuff all the time. People let me know about certain things. But I don't want to like repeat them on the show. I think that's strange. I think that's odd. Um, but there's sometimes I might sprinkle some things in there here and there. But I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just talk about this shit. So I remember posting it on my channel. And at the time, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure if the pick was real. I thought the car was similar. I thought the, you know, I could have recognized the wheels and the suspension, but I was still a little bit dubious. I hadn't seen the video yet, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just put it out there. It's fun to put it out there. Now we know that this fucking picture is legit. And I had this available two weeks ago. I should have made more of a stink about it. I should have probably spoke about it in more detail. Maybe should have made more of a song and dance about it, tapped about it. But I had spoken about that fucking you know brendan flipping his truck more than two weeks ago kind of crazy so now we know that this picture is legit because the video has finally come out the video has finally come out of brendan flipping his truck and it might be one of the funniest videos i've ever seen in my entire life legitimately maybe the funniest video i've ever seen in my entire life and we're going to watch it together right now. Let's fucking go. Oh, no. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. See, what happened was the traction control, which I thought was off, was not. So what I'm trying to do... You know, it's quite funny and quite lame. He's only doing this now because he got the payout from the insurance company. And he, and he still thought he was going to get paid out for the mods. I don't... I don't even drive. I don't even drive. And even I know, even I know, even little old me who doesn't drive knows that there's no way the insurance company is going to pay out on fucking aftermarket mods. It's never going to happen. Do a sweet donut for the boys. I, uh... Oh, did he say donuts? He said donuts again, didn't he? He said donuts. Let's go. What happened was the traction control, which I thought was off, was not. So what I'm trying to do is sweet donut for the boys. I uh, flipped my TRX. Flipped my TRX. Oh. <laughs> Turns out my neck isn't messed up. I got a concussion. Arm got a little roughed up. You know what's funny? That neck brace is from Chin. Chin had to buy his own neck brace. Brendan refused to give him stem money for stem cell treatment to get his neck fixed. And I think he still has a bit of a cranky neck to this day. That time that Brendan kind of cranked his neck when they were fucking around in the fucking studio, he still is suffering from the after effects of that, you know. And now he's using, you know, Chin's neck brace as a prop. Love it. But overall, I'm okay. Bad news is my truck's not. It's totaled. But before I ruined my truck, I got some pretty sweet mods done. It was at King Shock with a full suspension kit. My boy Alex and Motoroso installed the Alcon brakes. So don't go anywhere yet. We have a pretty sweet episode for you. Let's get into it. They are the absolute best when it comes to off-road suspension. There's no way he's not an Ozempic. I don't understand why he's lying. Brennan has never looked this skinny in the face. Even when he was fighting in the UFC, he was never this skinny. He was never this skinny in the face. Why is he lying about being an Ozempic? I don't understand it. Everybody's on Ozempic. Everybody's on it. Everybody knows somebody is on it. It's one of those things that swept across the fucking world. It's swept across the entertainment industry specifically. Why won't he just admit he's on fucking Ozempic? He's clearly on it. They're installing front and rear suspension on my TRX. Let's get it. (laughs) 
Also, looking at the truck just now, it already was quite a nice truck. Really nice truck. Why get so many mods to it? Especially if it's going to be like a car for your family. It's so unnecessary. Like, why all the extra mods? Why all the extra horse? Why? What's the point? If it's just going to be a glorified, um, you know, uh, family car to go on, what, the Target run, the school run? Like, why all this shit? It's not necessary. Right, Raising it, different w wheels, more horsepower. Like, come on, man. And I'd imagine adding new suspension to a truck is not cheap. Even if you're doing them as like a content thing. I'd imagine it's not cheap. The parts, the labor, like, this stuff is like... He's spending some bucks on this shit. Like, <laughs> for what? <laughs> Just to flip it on some flat ground. Not hitting anything. Like, why? At least they've learned though. At least you can tell they're learning. Because previous episodes of the fucking Toontown, they wouldn't even have that footage. They'll just have the car roll in and then roll out with all the mods. No like installation, nothing. Like it was so weird. Like where was the bureau of the guys like fixing shit? So at least they're fucking learning a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Thanks for my boys at King Shocks for hooking it up. Now it's time to head on south to Motorola. It's copyright free music is so fucking awful. Come on, man. Spend some money, bro. Get some good tunes. Like, what the fuck is this? God damn. What's up, guys? We are at Motoroso. This is my boy, Alex. And now all of a sudden, don't you find it funny that now Brennan is cosplaying as like a mechanic, as like a gearhead? Where's all the jerseys gone? He's now wearing shirts and like trucker hats with like the, like, come on, man, with the garage names on them. It's like, it's so, oh, God, what a poser, man. Just be yourself. You can still be into cars and wear jerseys. You have to suddenly adopt the fucking style of these guys in the fucking garages like come on bro and as you guys can see we have two giant brake kits here from alcon which is the perfect brake setup for me and the trx so you're the guy for the job my man we appreciate you alex i'm excited to put it on man yeah that truck is badass so far yeah, yeah. badass i'm afraid I'm, I'm glad to be here y'all like yuck man are they gonna bang are they gonna do deadlifts at wagwan yeah. And these brakes are going to really help haul it down to a stop. And there's a lot to know about these from a technical We're going to haul ass. We're badasses. I'm a Marine. In the Marines. <laughs> I'm a Navy SEAL. <laughs> standpoint, we made a separate video going through all the technical details of these. You can see those on our YouTube channel. But man, they're, they're, the rotor is actually the same size as the stock rotor on the T-Rex. Yeah. But you're upgrading to this massive six-piston caliper, which has double the pad surface area. So this thing's going to really, really come down to a stop. And then we're also throwing 2,200 more lumens of light from Baja Designs on the A-pillar. Baja in the Baja. Big up Will Sasser. Baja. It's gonna look, look like good. a UFO. It's, yeah, gonna look it's gonna be UFO. flying through the night. Yeah, but it's important too if you have a TRX, any other brake, big time kind of performance brake brand. You usually got to upgrade a twenty inch tire, but with these, Alcon's perfect because you can these fit in the eighteen inch tire, which comes with the TRX. So you Pause. 
You don't have to, you know, upgrade the wheels or downgrade. You can keep the stock wheels or like I switched out the wheels, but still the stock 18. And Alcon's really done a good job of like carving out a niche for themselves in this off-road racing segment by building brakes that almost always fit under that smaller off-road wheel. Because as you said, nobody wants to put a 20-inch wheel no. on a truck they're going to take down to Baja. You don't look like you don't Baja. Look like that. Uh, my boy Alex here is going to install it, and I'll, I'm I'm going to sit by the side and be like, oh yeah, that's right, dude. So uh, it's going to be fun, man. I appreciate it, dude. Absolutely. Let's Thanks get started, out. man. We got Stay a long day. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how this goes. Get dirty. Hey, yo, big up Coil in the chat. Big up Gamebred Footballer, Kazos Moses, Netwatcher, Dan Souls, John, the Garcia Life Vlogs, Apex, Potter, I see you. Dexter Watson, I see you. Seven Dirty, I see you. Bang your fucking chest. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The fucking brakes look fucking badass, right? Those brakes look fucking hard. But, again, it's the car you're taking your kids to school in. Walmart run. Fucking baddies run. Do you really need all this shit? Do you really need it? Who knows? All right, looks like we're all done here. Yeah, what do you think, man? As yeah, far as the install goes? Uh, easy install, pretty straightforward. If you want to see every single step of that, you can go to youtube.com slash Motorosa for our channel. Subscribe over there and see the actual step-by-step -step install. You guys should it's definitely awesome. do that. When it comes to installs, this guy is the best in the game. Hey, man, maybe don't interrupt him when he's talking, right? Just let him finish his little blurb. Fucking hell, this guy with the interruptions. <laughs> Just let him talk. Like, <laughs> how can he interrupt that small segment? <laughs> All right, looks like we're all done here. Yeah, yeah, no. What do you think, man? As yeah, far as the install goes? Uh, easy install, pretty straightforward. If you want to see every single step of that, you can go to youtube.com slash Motorosa for our channel. Subscribe over there and you see the actual step-by-step -step install. You guys should definitely do that. When it comes to installs, this guy is the best in the game. Don't come to me for installs because your tires are going to fall off and it's not going to be good. Go to Alex at Motorosa. Oh, really? Alex, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Brennan, Brennan's not a hugger, is he? Brennan definitely isn't a hugger. He doesn't like he doesn't like to get touched. He doesn't like close contact. He's a very awkward human being, isn't it? That was a weird hug. Look Good at for that. installs. Because your tires are gonna fall he, off. I think he went to I think he went to shake his hand and that guy went in for a hug. Off and it's not gonna be good. Go to Alex at Motoroso. <laughs> Alex, appreciate it, brother. Yeah. So much. <laughs> he didn't want the hug, look. <laughs> Well, we here it. we go. Here's where Brendan nearly D I. We're at Johnson <laughs> Valley. We're in the middle of freaking nowhere, but this is where you come to put your truck to the freaking limits. We've done it all, you guys. That fucking outfit, man. The short sleeve hoodie, the glasses, the hat. Like, what are we doing here? I've seen it. We got the King Shocks, Kibby Tech. Alcon brakes, we need to be able to stop. We have the overkill tuning going on there. We have the Innovate wheels, Toyo tires. Now it's time to take this street princess and get her dirty. Let's go. Why is it, why is it a street? Why would it be called a street princess? What's street about this car? And why are they going here to go and test it? Is it actually him driving though? Is it actually him doing these donuts? Is it him? Let's see. All right, guys, we changed locations. We're at the Silt Road here now. This is the money shot. So you notice this is finer than sand. It's like, it's so fine. So the issue with that, <laughs> <coughs> this outfit is fucking her. Like, who, what is this fucking outfit? What is he trying to go for for you? What is this look? It's finer than sand, huh? She's. I could. I could taste her. She was like fifteen, maybe even fourteen. <laughs> this looks very diddlyish, isn't it? 
locations. We're at the Silt Road here now. This is the money shot. So you notice this is finer than sand. It's like, it's so fine. So the issue with that is you can't stop. Once you get going, you gotta just pedal to the metal and just march through. Otherwise, I'm gonna get stuck and this will be a really sad video. So uh, I'm just gonna blast through this thing. It should be an epic shot. We'll see. He's not a very fun driver, is he? I know it's not his fault, but he's not a very fun driver. He's not a really like, he doesn't know how to do stuff, you know? Like, he doesn't drive in a really aggressive, dynamic way. Like, it's just some guy with money driving his car in a sand dune somewhere. It's like, okay. Do you know what I mean? There's not, nothing really interesting about this at all in the slightest. So maybe the flip was actually, the flipping of the truck might have been a blessing. Because, okay. And then he gets stuck. Oh, of course yeah. he gets stuck. Of course he gets stuck. <laughs> Didn't he say he's going to blast through it? Now he just gets stuck. Well, folks, I got stuck. It's all fun and games to get stuck. In the middle of nowhere with no drinks food water you could die out here i don't know if it's gonna surprise a lot of you guys but i'm not bj baldwin over here okay it's my first time out here i i decided to try and be cool let the let all the dust clear and i'm gonna shoot out like a rocket for an epic shot problem is i stopped in the deepest part and now i'm stuck which i get a lot to learn as bummed as I was, I thought we'd be able to get free pretty fast. I was wrong. Of course, if Brendan doesn't have an army of people helping him, if there's not camera people, if there's not people in garages to fucking mod his car, if there's not nannies around, like, what does he actually do? You know what I mean? Like, buy on his own for himself without a team of people around him especially like brown people <laughs> you know just some helpful brown people just there waiting you know just to help him out help him out of a hole fuck you know it's be easy though I've done it a hundred times <laughs> lifeline snapped i don't think we have another strap he should be at home writing jokes he should be on stage performing those jokes he should be around the country performing those jokes in front of people instead he couldn't be bothered to go perform in front of crowds that aren't sold out so he quit comedy to go and what spend time with his kids psych go and drive his car around these sand dunes with randoms okay I don't think we'll be able to push this out. Not ideal. <laughs> Look at the person that dodged a Dodge Trucks trucker hat. <laughs> this guy's incredible. Where are the jerseys? Where are all the fucking MLB hats? Where are all the fucking... Where are they? Where are all the MLB hats? Where are all the fucking football hats? The basketball hats? Where are they? Where are all the fucking jerseys? Now all of a sudden, I'm fucking Dodge Trucks hat guy. Okay. Really? All that money on that truck and there's not a shovel in the back. No fucking way is this guy shoveling sand with his bare hands. No way. You don't have a shovel. Nothing. This has to be off-road stolen valor. This has to be 4x4 four four stolen fucking Valor. How could you not have... Surely, if you own a car like that, you should have, like, I don't know, a toolkit in the back, a Swiss army knife, some rope, a shovel. There should be some basic shit you should have in a car like that, just for the sake of having that car. Maybe a, maybe a torch, 
maybe a fucking I don't know. I think of like basic stuff, like maybe some sort of like tarp cover to cover the back if if you got some stuff you know to protect it from the fucking elements. Maybe some clamps, rope. Um, yeah, like I said, like a shovel, like a pump, a, a little fold out chair. There should be some stuff you should have. If you own a pickup truck, you should just have some stuff, like a spanner, a screwdriver, just some stuff in there. All this guy's got in his truck is fucking coffee cups and no shovel. Wow. Wow. He's actually shoveling with his bare hands. This is insane. <laughs> Oh my God, bro. All that money on that car, all the money on the mods, all the money hiring these people to come and film with you, and you don't own a shovel. And again, it doesn't have to be like a fucking shovel shovel. One of those foldable ones that people take around with them when they're going camping and shit. It's not hard. Wow. Wow. This guy's redacted, bro. Imagine deciding to go do off-road driving racing and not even thinking about bringing a shovel with you or some little ramp things. I don't know, little things. You'd have like an itinerary in your list. Things to bring if I'm going off-roading. There's probably a little list that you should bring with you. Nah, we're just going to use our hands. Wow, man. There's like cake under the chassis too. I was like picking at it to get ice pick. My hands are frozen. I burnt my forearm in the exhaust. I'm not doing great. <laughs> you didn't break your forearm. If you broke your forearm, you wouldn't be standing. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's actually ridiculous. Imagine this is your new person. Like, I don't know. It's one thing getting into stuff, but when you get into stuff, don't you want to get into it correctly? Don't you want to get into it like, learning and knowing what you're doing why just get into stuff and just do it like this why do it like this like why why god almighty bro that hair has not been washed in a long time in it that hair has not been washed in a long time god damn that hair looks greasy 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 let me see what we're gonna do with this other work. Man's hairline is fucking wild, isn't it? That's a wild hairline. He's not losing his hairline anytime soon. It's almost like it comes across like that. It cut. It's like no, the hairline comes up all over, over, like around, like it's kind of growing into his eyebrows. Bloody hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey ladies that's the adonis right remember rogan said everybody hated him because he's so good looking that's fucking hilarious yeah exactly he looks like a, he looks like you could play young joey diaz like what okay now what are we gonna do i didn't die on him i don't know shit about drugs my first time off road i'll never be mad what a what waste, waste of time. time what the hell are we gonna do now who did they get who did they hire did they hire somebody new to do editing who's doing all this creative shit it's not Brendan for sure. Who did all this stuff? I wonder who did all this stuff. I wonder who they who they hired recently. It can't be Chin because Chin's fucking vlogs are awful. So I don't think it's Chin. Somebody somebody definitely was hired to like add a bit of like comedy and whatever to what they're doing now. Thank God our knight in shining armor came riding along and saved us. Starving. When the first strap broke, I was like, "It would start digging." Wait, what? Look at look look at look at all the immigrants. <laughs> look at all the immigrants doing the hard work. <laughs> Brendan with his arms on his on the, on his hips. <laughs> Ponytail and smoke cigarettes. Look at that guy. Sick. I see. Lesson is don't stop when you're in silt sand. Don't try and get the 
hero shot. Don't stop. Keep going. Off road, you keep going. Full send. First time, dude. First time. There's gonna be some feeling out periods. We're all starving now. All right, that sucked. We got our asses kicked. And it's finally time to go home with our tail between our legs. Is he wearing this donut merch in an attempt to get on the show, or do they have something planned? Because I know the channel, very popular channel that does car content, or is he just trying to like clout chase? What's going on there? Because he wears a lot of this donut stuff. He wears a lot of the donut stuff. So I wonder, has he got something planned with them? Is he clout chasing? Is he just trying to, you know, start a new thing? Hmm. I thought, you know what? Let's get the out of the desert. But you know what? One more cool shot. We're out here. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Call. Look at him, he's so scared. He was gonna die. <laughs> oh my god, bro. He took that car from the garage with new shocks, new disc brakes, straight to the sand dunes, and he totaled it in the same day, probably. <laughs> he totaled that car the same day he added probably what 40 grand again i'm not a car guy you guys let me know in the stream chat 40 grand worth of mods 50 grand worth of mods right with those disc brakes those massive fucking disc brakes the new shocks he added all of that shit onto the car only to total it a few hours later Fucking incredible. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Why is it I've noticed in this clip? Why don't they play the clip from here so you can see how it flips? They kind of switch the camera on the inside. Is it because it makes him look worse? So he's driving. Right, let me lower the volume a little bit because I'm, I'm shouting a bit. But as he's driving, yeah. oh, no. we don't see it flipping from the outside as he approaches. We just see him doing this. Also, why did he try to, again, I don't drive. I don't drive. But if you've got a car like that, that's raised, in a standing, in a in a still, sorry. If you've got a car like that that's raised in a stationary position and you're turning the wheel and then you put your foot on the accelerator, surely it's going to tip it, no? Isn't that standard, like, doesn't that, isn't that common sense? If you're turning it and you're stationary and you put your fucking, it's like if you had a, it's like if you're on a quad bike. If you're on a quad bike and you turn the fucking handlebars like that and then you fucking uh, throttle it, it's going to fucking tip over or it's going to fucking flip out. Yeah, like it's not, isn't that like basic? Why did he do that? Like he came to a stop and then he tried to like, what? Like, huh? Oh no. <laughs> he was going like 20 miles per hour as well. That's the funny thing. He was going, look, and obviously, it, uh, am I mistaken? But couldn't he have steered the opposite direction? And would it help to maybe level the car out a bit? Couldn't he quickly have like turned it the other way? <laughs> oh, oh my God. He just let gravity take him. He let gravity take him. Oh my God. The knockout from the airbags. Oh my God. The knockout from the side airbags. That look like it hurt. Oh, no. 
That look like it really hurt. Look. Oh, he was out. He's fucking out. He is out. He is out. Oh, that's got to fucking hurt. Bam, on the back of the head. Oh, look at his hands. His hands. <laughs> he was out. You know what I think happened? I think he got knocked out and then he woke up when the car flipped. It kind of knocked him back into consciousness. He got knocked out and then, you know what I mean? And woke back up again. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Some people are hypothesizing that he did this on purpose, but I still can't work out why he thought he could do a donut from that position. I still don't understand. He's stationary there. He's not moving. Yeah, big up um, Abe Martinez. Appreciate it, brother. You don't have a license and you know this. Bro, honestly, it's that like, I swear to God, like, how can you do a donut? I'm sure it's possible. Abe Martinez, other guys out there that drive. I'm sure there are some people that are really good drivers who can do a donut from a stationary position like that, where they're just stationary and they just like turn the fucking steering wheel, throttle, and then somehow I'm sure it's possible. But surely if your car is raised, that's the thing. If it's raised, if it's lowered, fair enough. But if it's raised at that kind of level, it's already fucking easy to tip either way. Wouldn't you think so? Especially if it's four-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. It's four-wheel drive. Oh. It's four-wheel drive. It's raised. You're turning it that direction. You put your foot on the throttle. Yo, of course it's going to tip. Where else is it going to go? God almighty, bro. Unless it's not four. I'm assuming it's four-wheel drive. I sure it's four-wheel drive. <laughs> Quite a yeah, babe. No. <coughs> Go! <laughs> Go! They put. I'm gonna get some like hero shot. Ah, oh, these guys are so redacted. They're so redacted. Oh my god, bro! How was this possible? How? Fucking hell, bro. Provided by the manufacturer. To cancel, press the SOS or cancel button. <laughs> he was so scared. <coughs> he was so scared. Oh my god, bro. Big up, Abe. Yes, with a tiny sports car. Oh, you, oh yeah. High drug. So you mean you mean from yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, exactly. Tiny sports car, lowered, lowered to the floor. You can probably do a donut from a stationary position like that. Cool. While yeah, you probably can't because it's got no rolls to go. But <coughs> oh, it's been raised that high up. Oh my god, sorry. This is crazy. Starting SOS call. And you know what's really funny as well? <clears throat> Not funny, but I guess it's bad for him. That car definitely is totaled. Because you'd imagine the way it flipped and it landed <clears throat> on its roof. I'm assuming the structural integrity of that truck has been compromised because it landed on these bits, in it? You'd imagine, right? The frame, I don't know how you call it, the frame, the sh whatever the fucking thing is. I'd imagine if it flips like this, it's basically a write-off because the whole body is now being compromised because the stress is put on here. You'd imagine, right? M most likely. 
Fucking hell. He hasn't even had that car for a year. He hasn't even had it for a year. And he totaled it already. Guys who want to... I don't understand guys who want to drive cars like these. But don't respect the power. Or don't even try to understand how to drive them correctly. Like, why bother? Why bother? <clears throat> it makes no sense. Yep, I crashed my TRX. It's all fun and games, and we had some fun with it. Here's the thing. Thank God I didn't get seriously hurt. Got a concussion. No suck. Definitely didn't need another one, but it could be a whole lot worse. I've had every car in the world exotic to me. My favorite vehicle I've ever owned is that TRX. And the bottom line is, at 40, I realized I'm impatient. I have friends all over in the off-road world. Ryan at Kibbe Tech offered to go with me. My boy Ramsey at King Shocks offered to go with me. BJ Baldwin, one of the best truck racers in the world, offered to take me. But I was impatient. And when Alice do it next week, I went, no, I need it now. And I went, and I ruined my truck. Because I'm not a professional. I have a lot to learn. And this sucks, man. All that work I put into it, all the companies, that brands that jumped on board, it's all ruined. As I'm flipping, I remember thinking to myself, you have kids, man. I bring my son Tiger with me everywhere. I want to learn about cars, trucks. I want him into, you know, motorsports. So he's always with me. But this one. It was funny. One time, his mom goes, no, be at school. Don't bring him. Boom. Thank God he didn't come. So uh, that really messed up, man. Thank God my son was with me. All this this sub story shit is funny because one thing you notice about Brendan in general across his career, he's very impulsive to a fault, but he thinks being impulsive is like um, a sign of like go get is like a sign of go getter is like a is like a yeah like a sign of a go getter being impulsive right being driven, going for what you really want, not taking no for an answer, the whole he just goes thing. But in general, it doesn't really help him. From the Showtime thing to jumping into fucking stand-up, right, to thinking he's fucking Rogan, it hasn't really helped the impulsiveness. It's not really been a good thing. He went on impulsive and he got fucking mugged off. Like, that impulsive, that impulsive thing is a bad thing for somebody that wrote for brendan because he has delusions of actual grandeur he actually has a let's have a god complex but he definitely you know s likes the smell of his own farts and sometimes life can you know humble you very quickly but in this case it's not even a life humbling case. this is just like a, a redacted easily avoidable situation like you obviously don't know how to drive a car like this properly in my assertion Again, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't even have a fucking driving license. I personally think if you can't drive a car like this, you've got no business modding it the way he did. Surely you start off small. You start off slowly. You start off by just driving that car, you know, into the ground stock and getting used to it. Getting used to the height, getting used to the suspension, getting used to how it brakes, how it accelerates, how you change gears, whatever. You're just getting used to driving the car, how it handles, how it turns corners, like just to get used to the car. Then over time, you add your mods and shit, and then you, you then you can real then you can probably sense things, sense how differently it it kind of turns based on suspension, based on how you tuned it, all those things. But to just drive, buy a car like that. And go straight into modding it out straight away without knowing how to drive it properly from this stock base, fresh from the showroom thing is really dumb, really fucking dumb, like incredibly dumb. And again, just another maybe example of like, you know, this is what happens when you're a rich kid. When you're a rich kid, there's no real, you know, you can always get another one. He says he's, he's going to get another one anyway. You know, there's no shortage of money. You know what I mean? To get another one, like, it is what it is. So you just treat things as disposable. But it's just unnecessary because the time spent on it's like, do you have to, like, if you don't need to get another one, why ruin the one you already have? It's just a bizarre, 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 bizarre thing. Yep, I crashed my TRX. It's 
it's all fun and games and we had some fun with <laughs> I love you reading from a script as well. He's not fucking up the words because he's reading up from a script. Here's the thing. Thank God I didn't seriously hurt. Got a concussion. Don't suck. Definitely need another one, but it could be a whole lot worse. I've had every car in the world exotic to me. My favorite vehicle I've ever owned is that TRX. And the bottom line is at 40, I realized I'm impatient. I have... How can you realize at 40 years old that you're impatient and that you need to change? Like, and using it as like a, as like a flex or someone should like pat you in the back because you've realized that you're like, what? You're 40 years old with two, with three kids and a wife. And you're like bragging about your impatient, like what? Uh, Humble brag. I'm impatient. You know how I am. I'm a hustler. Go get it. It's like, okay, I guess you want to. I don't know. Friends all over the off road world. Ryan at Kibi Tech. Friends, by the way. Friends that you just met a year ago. Friends that are only your friends because what? You spent money on cars. These aren't your friends, bro. Again, this, this, he, this, maybe it's just me being picky, but, and being pedantic because I have no friends. Who knows? But this term friends is thrown around way too loosely for me. Offer to go with me. My boy Ramsey at King Shocks offered to go with me. BJ Baldwin, one of the best truck racers in the world, offered to take me. But I was impatient. And when Alice do it next week, I went, no, I need it now. And I went and I ruined my... Don't you find that interesting that that echoes the same in comedy? He mentioned those people he mentioned. He even mentioned somebody that allegedly is an off-road racer themselves. Driving racer, whatever, card, whatever the fucking term is. And he refused their... He kind of, you know, refused their advice and went his own way. Same thing with comedy. The story is that Rogan... Brian Callen and a few other people told him, don't take the Showtime deal. Don't do it. Don't do you be surprised this soon into your stand-up journey, into your stand-up career. He took the deal anyway because he felt like Rogan and Brian were jealous. That's why they were telling him not to take that Showtime deal. <laughs> so this is a common theme in Brendan's life where he refuses to listen to his quote-unquote friends who have his best interests at heart. Hey, maybe don't go to these sand dunes and drive around in this car that you don't even know how to handle with new suspension, right? Um, without any experienced people around you. Maybe wait until we're ready or wait until we are free and then you can go there. No, nah, I'll do it on my own. And then boom, you write off the whole car. Crazy. I truck because I'm not a professional. I have a lot to learn. And this sucks, man. All that work I put into it all the company was that prude prude into it poured what's that say prude and i went and i ruined my truck because i'm not a professional i have a lot to learn and this sucks man all that work i put into it prude prude into it i'm not a professional i have a lot to learn and this sucks man all that work i put into it all the companies <laughs> that brands that jump on board it's all ruined as i'm flipping i remember thinking to myself you got kids man i bring my son tiger with me everywhere i want to learn about cars trucks i love how the other kid doesn't exist boston doesn't exist does he what where, where's boston does boston is boston not into cars is boston into fashion does boston dance does boston sing what is it about boston that doesn't get any love tiger definitely is the fucking golden child isn't it maybe because he's the firstborn i don't know but brendan loves tiger but the other kid that gets no love in it i always bring boston with me what about tiger what about, no, what about tiger what about boston why, why doesn't boston get to go along with daddy when he's driving his car what happened there Bucks, i want him into you know motorsports so he's always with me but this one time his mom goes no be at school don't bring him boom thank god he didn't come so uh I don't know. I don't have kids, but if I had them, I wouldn't be forcing them to get into motorsports. If you want to join when I'm going, cool, but taking your kids by force to kind of indoctrinate them into being into cars is a bit odd. It's like, it's like those guys that try to force their kids to support the same team they do. Like, let them choose, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I think it's strange. I really messed up, man. Thank God my son wasn't with me. Oh, what are we gonna do? Is it got a crying thing? All right. Lame. Uh, I don't know. I need a new hobby. I, I can't. Uh, is this a troll? Sight? Oh, of course. <laughs> I need a new hobby. Oh, God, I need a new bro. <sighs> I 
Can you imagine being like that? Just spend some time with your family, man. Hang out with your family. Allegedly, he's meant to be hanging out with his family more. Now he stopped doing stand up, but he seems like he's doing everything but hang with his family. Go hang with your family, bro. You know what I mean? Chill out with them a little bit. I don't know. M become a family content creator. Why couldn't he do that? Why couldn't he start a family channel? Why is that to be all just around his own self interest, right? Buys a car supposedly for the family, but then doesn't take the family out in the car. <laughs> <laughs> it's only ever him in the car by himself when he's filming content the family does look like they <coughs> ever set foot in it <clears throat> oh god what a what a fucking what a psycho what an absolute psycho we have to watch that one more time we have to we have to we have to we fucking have to <clears throat> I love how they didn't show us a shot from the outside. I think there's something... I think they know it makes him look worse. Because he's there's flat ground. He doesn't hit anything. There's nothing in sight. Nothing in line. Nothing there that he hit. Not a divot. Not a fucking cactus. Nothing. Flat ground. And he flips it like that. Because he just is a shit driver. Look immediately. Look at the bend there. Look at the bend. That whole fucking frame, whatever, has been compromised. Look at that. Completely cracked there. <laughs> he tried to he tried to do a donut from that position. I still can't understand what he was trying to do. Like, how did you think that was going to work? How did you think you could do a donut from that position? From stationary, already turning the wheel, <laughs> and then putting your foot on the fucking accelerator. How's that going to work? How? And then look, you remember what he said? You remember what he said at T Fat K Live that when the car started to flip, he pressed the fucking seatbelt thing. This is a lie, obviously. You know, honestly, the thing he lies about are so weird. Like he thought he's he thinks he's fucking Jason Bourne or something. The car was flipping, and he said he kind of you know um, ejected the fucking seatbelt or something. You remember? Such a weird thing to as a detail. Like what? <laughs> Bang. Where's the fucking... He gets knocked out straight away. So there's no seatbelt eject there going on. And if anything, it's a good thing he didn't do it because if, he, if his seatbelt wasn't on, he would have hit the fucking roof and maybe injured himself even more. Now he's away. To cancel, press the SOS or cancel button. Starting SOS call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the little Jordan feet dangling, the little Jordan feet dangling. It's the little Jordan feet dangling for me. It's the little Jordan feet. Just ah. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Fuck! That's a fuck of like the money gone in it. You could tell that's a fuck of the money gone. Cuz honestly, bro, all those mods and you flip it the same day. That's a, you see what he did? He, f he flipped it. He was driving so slow. Do you get it? He was driving so slow, right? He flipped the car so slowly, it absolutely crushed the top of that car. The it crushed it. He absolutely reared off. Look, slowly. Look at it. If he, if he was driving faster, it might have actually helped to flip it the other way. You know what I mean? He might have actually continued rolling and it w maybe wouldn't have caused so much damage. But because he was driving it so slow, it actually crushed the car. <laughs> Look. Like, it crushes it. That is crushed. 
especially because all the weight is at the front, right? The engines here, heavy tires, heavy shocks, like all of that weight just like. Yo, big up Kaila, yeah, yeah. Imagine spending 100k grand on something and knocking yourself out with it. Wild. <laughs> yeah, wild idea, yeah, exactly. Kaila knows. I just. Part of me feels like if I owned a TRX and I'm going to do what he was doing, part of me feels like I might just do all the like fucking around donut stuff while it's stock. You know? Then if I want to start modding it and shit, I do that not to like fuck around and go racing and just to kind of make it look beefier and meaner and shit. There's part of me that would want, because it's like, if you're going to... Most get again. Think about it this way: he might have spent more on the mods than the car is actually fucking even worth. Maybe because I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because Brendan's a bit special in that regard, right? He wants everything fucking shiny and new and expensive, so he might have spent close to the car's value on mods. If that's me, I'm gonna treat it with a bit of like care and a bit of subtlety, you know, and the softness of the hand. I don't know. You know what I mean, like. Why would you want to just fuck up your car? Because you, even if you can afford to buy a new one, you don't just purposely crash them because you can just buy stuff. It's like the hassle of going through to buy another one, find another one that is exactly like the one that you want. Like, I don't know. It's an odd thing to do. Really, really strange. Yep, I crashed my TRX. Anyway, that's what happened. He crashed his TRX. I guess the picture I had all that time was actually legit. So big up everybody um, out there. Oh, no, big up the exact person. You know who you are, who sent me the fucking picture. You're a fucking legend. Um, I got this many, many, many weeks ago before it was actually known um, that it happened. And I guess this picture is legit. I guess this picture is legit. And this was what the car looked like when it flipped over. Fucking wild, isn't it? Fucking wild. All that money on this lovely truck, all gone because you decided to play race car driver outside and shit crushed the whole entire thing compromised the, the, the sashi the bill the roof everything gone 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 what a redact what an absolute redact really really you can't put it past him and again look at look at the background there's nothing there that would have made his car flip absolutely nothing the rocks that tire would have just rolled over it like it's nothing there's nothing in the way that would have justified the car flipping like that apart from his poor driving skills wild wild man i can't i can't i can't get past how wild that shit is absolutely fucking wild but to make it worse the t fight k sub have been on the rampage with the post regarding it. Absolute fucking rampage. Look at this one. <laughs> so <laughs> someone had to do it. It features Brendan with that face that he has as the car's flipping. <laughs> and PGL <laughs> staring into the window. I would have wished they used I would I would have wished they used a picture of BGL lifting that his wife's car, right? Like he's you know he's attacking me he's attacking me he won't let me go I wish I would have used that picture but still this is fucking brilliant this is absolutely brilliant right BGL there in the window looking in as Brendan flips his fucking TRX absolutely brilliant fucking footage I love that one then we've got another one too that features the tongue I didn't notice this at first but I guess when Brendan's concentrating or when he's stressed he has a little tick. And this is one of them, right? Where he pokes out his tongue. I never actually noticed that at first, but big up the person on Reddit for noticing it. The little tongue there <laughs> as he's stress flipping the car. <laughs> he couldn't, he couldn't just like, is it, I guess it's, it's called oversteering, right? Is it called oversteering and understeering? Isn't there like a way where like if it's flipping, you could, maybe I watch too many movies, but you can kind of like go the opposite way and maybe help to kind of, you know, level it out a bit. I'm sure it doesn't. I'm sure 
once gravity takes you, it is what it is. But or the momentum, I'm sure there's a way of like, is it count? Is it counter steering? Oh, count. Sorry, counter steering. Big up Chris Mack. Counter steering. So there is a way to kind of like you know, but he didn't do it. He just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's if you're slipping on ice and stuff okay cool oh is this fucking hilarious look at his face look at his face look at that that's the same face he, oh that's the same face he used when he was writing on that fucking comedy wall isn't it right can i find that one uh let's see brendan shaw writing on comedy on wall is it on wall let's see if i can find it Oh, what? it's like he's writing. Uh, I can't find it. But it's a video where he writes on the wall of a comedy club and he's like sticking out his t tongue and he can't really, you know? There's actually a picture here of him writing, which is weird, right? Back in the day when the, when the fucking pod was booming. Look at that. Back in the day, the good old days. But yeah, big up the big up sticking out the tongue. That's a good fucking method. Then we got then we got oh, this is a do no fuck this guy, we'll play this another time. Oh this this um, is this is it. Explains what not to do, then does it. I have a lot to learn, says the dumbest man in the world. <laughs> dumbest man in the world is so mean. Uh, the dumbest man in the world is fucking hilarious. Oh, this this is finer than sand. It's like it's so fine. So <laughs> it's so that should be a meme in itself. It's so fine. Look, eh? Why is he talking like that? <laughs> like he's an archaeologist or some shit, right? Man thinks he's David Attenborough or something. Like it's so fine. <laughs> <coughs> oh. As if he knows how fine sand is meant to be and shit. Someone probably just told him that, innit? He's just kind of rabbiting it. So the issue... <laughs> one, more, one more time. I like that. That's one of my favourite ones. It's, it's so fine. So fine. So... <laughs> it's so fine. I need a soundboard. So fine. So... It's so fine. So, so okay. <laughs> the issue with that is you can't stop. Once you get going, you got to just pedal to the metal and just march through. Otherwise... I'm gonna get stuck and this will be a really sad video. So, a few moments later. Well, folks, I got stuck. It's all fun and games to get stuck in the middle of nowhere. I I decided to try and be cool, let the let all the dust clear, and I want to shoot out like a rocket for an epic shot. Problem is, I stopped in the deepest part, and now I'm stuck. But I got a lot to learn. Oh, you're a moron! You had a lot to learn. Okay. I just, I just don't understand why he like brags about this sort of stuff. Like he, he thinks it makes him look endearing because he's like what acting as if like he's fallible. It's like yeah, I guess, but this is also very avoidable. You don't need to flip your truck to <clears throat> appear like you have a level of um, I don't know, self-deprecation or what. It's you don't need to do that. You really don't. But you know, what do I know? Another one. Uh, pray for Papa. Let's see this one. So pray for Papa. Let's see this one. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> Big up the person who did this. Oh, my God. Will Peel underscore. Wow. Fucking amazing editing. They've got Brendan. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit. Knockout footage superimposed on the fucking flip of the car. Let's play that one more time. That is brilliant. I didn't even see that at first. That is fucking brilliant. I like the sound, right? The punch. <laughs> Is that Brendan? Is that what your name is? Brendan grabbing the air. You think about the future. You also think about brain damage. You think about concussions. Oh my god, this is so good. How many you've already had. 
how many you got coming up, how much damage you're taking in training, when does when does damage start to show up in your life? Like when when does it show up? And and how much can you mitigate? And how much how far is it when you're too far? We all know fighters, they're fucking gone. We all do. Jesus Christ, that was brilliant. That was fucking brilliant, man. That was so well done. You think about the future, you also think about brain damage. You think about concussions, you think about how many you've already had, how many you got coming up, how much damage you're taking in training, when does when does damage start to show up in your life? Like when when does it show up? And and how much can you mitigate? And how much how far is it when you're too far? We all know fighters, they're fuck Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Big up, big up, big up. That's fucking brilliant. That was fucking brilliant. That was fucking brilliant. If Joseph Rogan tells him to stop, maybe he will stop, right? Because he loves fucking Joseph Rogan. Let's continue here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's funny, isn't it? That face, bro. Oops. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Look at that. He was absolutely out, in it, like? He legitimately knocked him out. Good thing he's got those airbags, but Jesus Christ, bro. He is out for the count. Legitimately out for the count. God damn, Papa. It's a TRX. Oh, it's a yeah. This, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is somebody's a fantastic edit. Big other person that put this together. This is him, uh, an edit where he speaks about it for the first time at the TFAT K live show superimposed with what actually happened cut in so you see the bits where he obviously you know um embellished the story and shit and the bits where he obviously told the truth it's fucking hilarious because it's like uh, standard brendan shit in it let's play it here i fancy myself an off-roader a trx story <clears throat> oh what happened okay so this is what happened so <laughs> this is what happened so i fancy myself an off-roader right Yo, the sound is fucking crazy high. Bear with me a second as I lower it a bit. Bear with me a second as I lower it a bit here. <clears throat> Let's go back again. Oh, what happened? Okay, so this is what happened. So, <laughs> this is what happened. So, I fancy myself an off-roader, right? Well, folks, I got stuck. Shoot's over. It's all good. I'm going through the sand, doing a fucking donuts, peeling out. Yay, right? Everyone's like, go, Brendan. Donuts. So I was, going to, I was going to turn. I just stepped on the gas, and it just locked up and went fucking wooga, like flipped right over. And by the way. Here's the fun part. Here's the very fun part. Those side airbags <laughs> was like, cool story, Brendan. Happy 2024. Boom, and knocked me out. Yeah. No one's hit me harder than a 2022 <laughs> Ram TRX airbag. I wonder, I wonder if all that damage actually has some residual effects. Do people normally get knocked out by side airbags? Is that a thing normally? Do, do, do side airbags normally knock people out? Or did he actually get knocked out because of all the damage he's incurred over the years at the UFC? And he legitimately is just like, if anybody hits him in the side of the face, he's out. Maybe he's one of those type of people. What, um, Ted just saying he didn't get knocked out. So what do you have? Did he have a concussion? Was he wobble? He looked a bit out to me. What do you think? No, but like, um, I think he was knocked out slightly for a few minutes. And then he, and then he kind of like woke up, if that makes sense. That's why I think, I don't know if that, if that, if that, if that if that's, if I'm saying it wrong. What do you think here? Did he get... Daddy. 
<laughs> because it feels like he was knocked out for like a small, like a like a couple of seconds, and then he woke up again. Or am I bugging? What do you guys think? Oh, people saying no because he, he jumped straight out. Okay, cool. Let's see. What do you guys think? Do you think he got knocked out? Oh, no. Isn't a concussion... Oh, sorry. Concussion and knockout, I guess, technically aren't the same thing. Well, they're obviously not the same thing because they're two different things. Duh. But I guess what I mean was that he was out for a short space of time. Maybe half a second, maybe a couple of seconds. He was definitely, like, out. Then he was obviously up. It's never not going to make me laugh. <sighs> okay, so people are saying dazed. Another painted narrative. Do you think he's lying about this whole thing? That would be wild, man. This is another lie. Oh, you guys are making me doubt now. Do you think this is all a lie? And this is all done on purpose? What do you guys think? This is a conspiracy. It's happening now. You're making me all... You're all making me fucking doubt while I go on. Is this all one big fucking... Marketing fucking ploy. Oh, <laughs> this guy is fucking awful. Is he doing this on purpose? Did he flip this on purpose? Huh. Huh. <laughs> You think it worked, Quayla. You think Axe J got a bit hard thinking podcast was finally over and he could go back to Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to believe, man. I don't know what to believe now. I don't know what to believe. Was this all of a lie? <laughs> Look at how sideways he is. <laughs> He's still trying to drive it. <laughs> the car's basically sideways, and he's still trying to drive. <laughs> <laughs> if we could just like will it back. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my eyes! Oh my fucking eyes! He's actually trying to. <laughs> Turn it back and it's already literally it's at a 90 degree angle already and he's trying to <laughs> <coughs> you know he reminds me of brendan was definitely that guy when he was playing fucking gran turismo he'd like remember back in the day when those guys were you playing racing games and they do that and they like move their head like, do you know what I mean? Uh, Brendan was definitely that guy. He was definitely, like, moving the controller and his fucking body when he's playing driving games. You can tell. You can fucking tell, man. You can fucking tell. Look at him. Holding the controller, like, super tight. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Emergency call to the SOS service provider. Hey, Zaki Jesse, man. Try to sully land that airplane. Oh. Oh, God, man. What an awful driver, man. Like, it, 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 it's, at least that's comforting to know. I think a lot of people kind of had the... I think a lot of people assumed, just by how he carries himself and shit, that he was a bad driver. And I think we know now, he's categorically a bit of a shit driver. We know that for sure. We know that for sure. Doesn't know how to handle his cars, buys all these exotic supercars and whatever it may be, but has no idea how to fucking handle them. Absolute shame. Real, 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 real shame, to be fair. Oh, my God. Let's continue that video, though. That was fucking brilliant. Yo, that guy. Who Who's that, who that guy? Who did this to Brendan? He's out on the floor, and he went for that. Look, UFC is fucking brutal, bro. Look how high up he was. Jesus Christ, bro. Fucking hell. RX airbag. You should be a comedian. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It hit me so fucking it, it hard. Just, it literally, you don't see it. It's so and it, fast. And it, you'll, uh, you'll see the video. I, I go like this. Poof. Oh. I didn't see and it. Then, but here's what's dope. When you see the video, 
as the truck's going upside down, I go, not today. And I hit my seatbelt, and then I fucking fall right on the ground. There's a lie. There's a lie. And then I'm trying to get out, and the airbags, they're so hard, I can't get out, and I'm panicking. So then I just fucking yeah, open the door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why would he lie about ejecting the seatbelt if the seatbelt saved him? Or am I mistaken here? If you've got your seatbelt on and the car flips, isn't that more beneficial because you get to stay in your seat? You don't get to fucking rattle around the car. Why would you want your seatbelt to be ejected when you're flipping over? Unless you want to get out, then you press it and you fucking, you know what I mean? Why would you want, like, what a weird lie. I didn't know this, but you were afraid that the weight of the truck was going to was going to. I thought I was going to die. You. Yeah, I thought so, I was going to so die. You see How can you think that Drake is going to drop that much when it's a off-road truck that's made, you know, to incur some level of damage and whatever? Why would the roof just cave in on you like that? That makes no sense. See him kicking, trying to kick the window open. Because I was worried the truck was going to come down on me, but yeah, it, it was didn't. weird. Cancel button. Starting. Yo, big up, Abe. Dog pass last night. Your content cheers me up. Ty. Oh man, sorry to hear that, Abe Martinez. Man, uh, uh, what do you call it? Very, very sorry to hear that. RIP to your dog, brother. RIP to your dog. Sending you all the fucking love. Make sure you fucking put the heart emojis in the chat for my guy, Abe Martinez. Um, again, RIP to your dog. Hope he goes to flipping. Hope he or she goes to doggy heaven. Make sure you put the fucking heart emojis into the chat. For Abe Martinez, RIP to your little doggy, bro. Apologies and sad to hear that, my friend. But happy, happy we can laugh and we can giggle and take some of that pain away. Feel me? But RIP to your doggy. Heart emojis in the chat for Abe Martinez. Heart emojis in the chat. SOS. And then you'll, you'll see the video. It's like, you know, it sends the SOS things all. Eh, 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 eh. And then I'm crawling out. You just hear me go, fuck. Dude, when it's the even the fuck wasn't the same. The fuck on the stage was way more dramatic and way more whatever. The fuck in the car was like a little bit like he was actually a bit embarrassed, a little bit of shame there, annoyed that he wasted all that money. That's what that fuck in the car sounded like. Because it's gonna alert the authorities. I was like, there's no way. They're I'm in Johnson Valley, which is where Kings of Hammers at. I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere, like four hours from any city. Dude, a fucking chopper. <laughs> Three cops. I didn't think about it at the time, but what a weird thing to lie about. Why would they be choppers and police cars just there to save you in the middle? Like, really? On on, on call, on wait for you. I love it. Footage not like, huh? What a weird thing to lie about, man. Like, dude. When it says it's going to alert the authorities, I was like, there's no way. They're I'm in Johnson Valley, which is where Kings of Hammers at. I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere, like four hours from any city. Dude, a fucking chopper. Three cop cars. And then they're like, you all right? I'm like, I'm good. Like, cool. I'm like, can I get a ride back? They're like, absolutely not. So, yeah, dude, I got fucked up. But I, I love trucks. Why lie about that bit? I guess he could say he lied about that bit at the end because he's a comedian and he wants, you know, it's that whole Burt Crash's thing about adding a little bit of, like, spice to your story. You know? Maybe. But why lie? Why? Weird thing to lie about. Really strange thing to lie about. But, you know. Bapper, bapper, bapper things. Bapper things. Um, more posts from the sucking <laughs> subreddit. Big up. You see this one? This is really good as well. This is fucking brilliant. These boots are made for truck walking. Big up this user for this. Look at that. Look at this one. Look at that. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> what? Oh, that's fucking brilliant. That is fucking brilliant. Just do it. Oh, absolutely great. I fucking love it. Um, Continuing on. Mr. Oh, oh, sorry, we've got another one. Oh, this is this is really good too. Hey, who's that? And then he said, and then they said, exactly. and then the cops said, and yeah. then Casey Affleck said. <laughs> <coughs> Casey Affleck with tears in his eyes, with tears in his eyes. <laughs> 
Brendan, don't do it, man. Don't drive that truck, Brendan, man. You've got kids, Brendan. You've got kids. <laughs> Think about the critter. Think about the critter. <laughs> Think about Boston. Think about Tiger. Tiger Fick. Think about your empire. Think. Think. Oh, oh, oh. oh but big up NJ Ranger. Appreciate you, bro. Let's continue. Look at this one. Sorry for your laughs. It's actually impressive you didn't get cancelled for that voice, man. That's fucking super racist. Listen. listen, listen. Mr. Shab, sorry for your laughs. You need many, many stitches. This be worth paying your life. Karen. <laughs> How did he not get cancelled for that? <laughs> Come to think of it. <laughs> How did he not get cancelled for that? Mr. Shab, <laughs> what? Wow, bro. Like, <clears throat> Mr. Shab, sorry for your loss. You need many, many stitches. This be worth paying your life, guaranteed. Worth paying your life, Mr. Shab. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's paying your life, guys? <laughs> and then the guy, the actual UFC doctor, has a fucking, you know. Has a better English accent than fucking Brendan. Incredibly well spoken. You know, seems like a really good dude. It was so fucking funny. Oh, one more time, man. Shab, sorry for your loss. You need many, many stitches. This be worth paying your life, guaranteed. Worth paying your life, Mr. Shab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 